safer, higher percentage, you're going to control the whole situation. If you spin towards the head, man, you don't even have an underhook there. This is not a good way. This is not high percentage. You might be able to grab his head and go boss root <laughs> level. <laughs> I've, I've used this recently. <laughs> this is a serious move. Can you get out? He got me with it. I swear to God. That's real shit. It looks crazy, but it's real. Right? Eddie. I hurt. <laughs> so the, we're also practicing the duck under. This is a great move to get out of Jim Claw. Alright? And the proper duck under, he's got posture first. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna duck under his head. He's gonna reach for my far hip. He's gonna reach with his outside arm, reach my far hip. He's gonna straighten out the inside leg and drive the outside knee into my hip. And he throws it. Power. Did you wrestle? So, how did this technique start? Oh, oh, we're just breaking up. Three New York. So we're working on three New Yorks, and we're working on <laughs> proper instincts on the duck under. This is gonna hold me up. It's all powerful. We're working on this posture. I break it down. It's the other side. Just that New York. Here's the neck. Kung Fu move. Now we're here. He's got posture constant. The duck under is gonna be. He's gonna reach. He's gonna duck his head under. Reach for my far hip. Straighten out the inside leg, shoot the outside of the end, and I'm going to go left and spin forward the front. Simple, right? Break him down, guy in the guard, and hold him up, and just posture a little bit, broke it down like this, and like that. Free New York, instantly, you're going to get broken down, you're going to hug one of your knees. That's the first step, you break him down, get to New York, other foot on the hip, adjust your New York, make sure your hips aren't too far underneath, clear the neck. Chill dog, kung fu move, you're in Jew claw, he's got posture, tries to duck under, you go limp, spin towards the legs. Right? Those of you that are super flexible, you, you're gonna take a different path. You're gonna get to the source of So it's gonna be the same thing. Hold up, it's gonna break him down. Free New York. Now I'm gonna double back to invisible collar. Now once we're in invisible collar, he's got posture. Anytime I'm in invisible collar, I race to invisible collar. This is the ultimate control. He ain't doing anything from invisible collar. He's not gonna posture, he's not gonna slam me, he's not gonna do shit. He's under complete control. He definitely can't touch my face with anything. This is where you wanna be. From here, you can, some, sometimes this results in a tap, the invisible collar, sometimes. Don't rely on it on the tap, just rely on it. Such good control that he can't move, and it's almost a submission. That's how good the control is. All right? So from, if you want to, if you got the flexibility and you want to go to Sorcerer, when I'm an invisible call, all I'm thinking about is Sorcerer. Forget about the roll, forget about the sweep. Now I'm inside control, so what? He might put me back in half guard, and I will battle. Let's just end it right here. And if I got an invisible call, and I could double back, he's still trapped from here. I'm going to come through move here, just bring this over his face. He's probably going to react here. There's really nothing, it's very hard for him to stop the zombie on that side. Now once I zombie, hug both knees, bring both legs over, and he's done. So the goal is, just get to invisible collar. If you're in full guard and you're battling in the guard, if you got full guard, for me, all I'm thinking about is invisible collar. I'll think about some other shit later. I'm gonna get there and just break him down and just make him hope I go for a go-go block. But I like double bagging off invisible collar. You release invisible collar, usually you release invisible collar, you go kung fu move, that guy might roll. He might just bail. I would bail. I'd just fuck it. I'll give up position. Let's get out of this mess. Let's start over. Reset. But off invisible collar, if you double back, he's still not going anywhere. Unless he's driving his head to the mat, man, that sorcerer is right there for him. If you got the flexibility to flip your legs. That make sense? For me, I feel once I have a guy in invisible call and if he's keeping his posture, the only way for him to stop it is by driving his head to the mat and breaking his own posture and giving carnies up or 
uh, Gogo Platas or Jew Claw. He's just giving that shit up. That's how he's stopped. But when he's fighting it, and he doesn't want to give shit up, he wants to break out of it, bust out of it, and stay on top, that's what I want. I want someone to keep that posture, because there's, it's going to be hard to break that invisible collar. Even after I let go of the invisible collar and I double back, he's still under control. That double bag is massive. Can't do the sorcerer without the double bag. So again, we're going for a free New York. The double bag to clear the neck. Now I'm good here. If he tries to stand up, some guys are strong enough where they can stand up. All you gotta do is use the out your, the arm that's hugging the knee try to stand up. Just hug the outside of his leg. Just hook it here. He's not going anywhere. And then he's gonna collapse. And then we're here. And then we double back here. He's still under control. Bring the leg over. I don't even have to be around my knee here. I'm, all I'm doing, gonna do is keep this foot on his face, zombie, and it's over. Hug both knees and he's done. So if you can get to an invisible collar, Sorcerer's right there for you if you have them. Because if you can get to an invisible collar, that means you have decent flexibility at least. You have to have pretty good flexibility to get to an invisible collar. And that means there's a good chance you might be able to pull off a sorcerer. He's under complete control. Right as soon as you broke him down, as you're double bagging, you clear the you got double bag from step one, he's in complete control. Alright? When you when you double bag the second time, you didn't have the knee, you didn't feel it. No, no. When you double bag to the other. Yeah, but then when I double back here, yeah. once I bring this over, I'm cool here. I don't have to hug the knee. This is keeping everything together. He's not gonna, if I didn't have the double back and I wasn't hugging the knee, he's gonna pull right out. Right here, how is he gonna pull anything out? This stops everything. This is better. Sometimes I can bring the Kung Fu over and keep my arm hugging, but it's, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> That zombie is just so hard to stop. That's for the two guys in here that can do it. I'll we'll put it in slow mo and play the soundtrack yeah, for Break It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's
Get a head and arm and sprawl out. System. A Taekwondo Moment Part 3. This Week in Weed examines marijuana facts and myths. Eddie rolls with students. And of course, more sweet techniques to titillate your nether regions.